Many people ask me for my video settings because they don't know what should they use. Hello, my name is Zandu. People know me as One Lefty. I'm streaming on YouTube. I also make videos about PC performance and I am a PC optimizer and builder. And today I'm going to show you how to use the right settings for your needs and the best settings. So I'm going to talk about competitive settings which will help you for better improve, I mean uh, for better visibility and uh, advantage in any kind of point. So let's begin. Let's start with boost player contrast, which is actually bugged and it's not working well. As you can see in the image, it adds a black shadow all around the body and it's so annoying. So I recommend this disable. Vertical synchronization is a graphics technology that synchronizes the frame rate of a game with your monitor refresh rate. It's basically an FPS limiter. Sometimes it can improve the smoothness of the game at a cost of a bit input lag. So I recommend it disable. Nvidia G-Sync synchronizes the refresh rate of the monitor with the frame rate of the graphics card. It will lower the refresh rate to synchronize with your frame rate. If you have if if you hit 180 FPS on average on a 240Hz monitor, monitor we actually lowered its frequency to match the frame rates. And I recommend this disable. Multi-sampling and teolizing is a graphic technique used to smooth out the edges. On 1280x960 resolution we are going to compare all of them. So let's start with none. This is basically disabled. Let's move to the CMAA2, 2x, 4x and 8x. This is pure preference, so you can use everything you want from here, but the higher you go, the lower FPS will be. Global shadow quality is a very important setting if you're focused on details. The difference between low and medium is huge, but between medium, high and very high, it's small. You must keep in mind that dynamic shadow quality will not be affected by global shadow quality. So low and medium and high looks basically the same. So I suggest to you global shadow quality at least medium. Dynamic Shadows It's a setting that controls how shadows are cast by moving objects and players. When using sun only you can clearly see there is no dynamic shadow but as soon as we set all there is a huge shadow behind the player. This is a must so dynamic shadows must be all. Model and texture detail control the resolution of textures and geometric complexity of the models into the game, but I can't tell the difference between them. What I found is that when smoke is needed, the body of the model is different on each setting. So when using low setting, body of the agent is not fully rendered and a good part of it is missing. As soon we use medium, the body is way clear and easy to be processed. My recommendation for modern texture details is medium. Texture filtering mode improves the appearance of texture in the game. Let's zoom in and see the difference. The higher you go, the clear image will be at distance. So you can set as high as you want. 
Shader Detail, Control Lightning and Shading Effects. Apply to surfaces. On low, there is not much to see, but as soon as we go on high, you will be able to see the flow start to shine. Shader Detail also affects both global and dynamic shadows. Making shadows more clear, applying a type of MSAA. I do recommend to use this on low, because there is no competitive advantage. Particle detail, it's a pretty useless setting, I saw no difference between low and very high. My recommendation is particle detail on low. Ambient occlusion, it's making the game more realistic by adding shadows where the light is blocked by objects. In real world, this is not offering any competitive advantage because the shadow appear only when objects are visible. So ambient occlusion must be on disable. HDR or high dynamic range enhance visual quality by expanding the range of colors and brightness levels. But in CS2 this setting is not working well and the only difference is that the performance setting adds a grainy effect on the image. I do recommend quality but you can choose whatever you want. Fidelity FX Super Resolution is a feature that can improve performance by rendering the game at a lower resolution. I already play on low resolution, so there is no huge difference. So Fidelity FX Super Resolution should be on disable for best visuals. AMD anti lag and Nvidia Reflex are technologies that can reduce input lag. I am not going to deep dive in this, but if you want lower latency, you can enable this, but it may affect the performance.